I feel like even just calling it excommunication, the cover has me with a red X in front of the San Diego temple because that was the temple I went I went to and took, you know, felt like that was my, when I became um, committed. And to me, I just, I find it uh, empowering. Um, I, f I find the record hopeful, even though there's moments of uh, anger. For me, this is a, this is a body of work and it's, and I am, I'm glad to have it in my past almost. Like I'm, I am kind of ready to like, at least know that I'm Tyler Glenn, I'm a gay man, I, I make music that I love and I'm speaking what I feel right now and I'm mindful about that. Like that, to me, it feels like the end of a lot of like pain and confusion, hopefully. I mean, I wanted even just sequentially to feel like the, the feelings I went through over the period of a few weeks losing my religion, um, losing my, you know, relationship with God. Because for me, being raised in a very specific religion with a very specific view on the afterlife, I've always been wired to view God as like a white male and Jesus was his son and they were separate beings and there, a lot of that that like now, I don't know what God looks like. I don't know if it's a man. I don't, I don't know if it has a body. I think that there's something out there. That's a really complex thing to go through as a grown man. And to like, be like, my whole like perspective on the afterlife is totally different now. And so it, I wanted people to feel like the highs and lows and the anger and the frustration and that conflict because that was something that I, I'm still kind of living, you know, I'm still figuring out. Just the few songs that I have put out from the record are polarizing. Not, not in the sound, but I think a lot of people are like, wow, he's really going there. And I think Neon Trees, we were an international band, we are, but like we also had a very like, we had a Mormon following within Utah and like we're from Utah. And I think that has created sort of like a, um, a polarizing opinion of like my new material. I'm grateful for that though, because you know, to me, I think that's when it's interesting, when it's a little divisive and able to like, it's not boring. It's like either they're reacting, you know, one way or another. And I love that. Um, and I love too that a lot of people are discovering just a couple songs I've put out not realizing I was a singer for another band. And in that way, it's a small like new step or just new chapter, which, I, which I'm really grateful for. I think that's really cool. It was the most rewarding thing in the last while to realize that there were other people going through the same thing I was. Um, because yeah, it's so tunnel vision. And for, for most of my life, uh, not even coming out till 30 as gay, I had such a like narrow view of what happiness was and what being made whole was and self-acceptance. And, and so I, I felt like I shut out so many meaningful relationships in my life that to have this like <clears throat> paradigm shift has been, uh, excuse me, has been amazing because it's like unveiled like, you know, uh, a caliber of people that are thoughtful and care about other people and and really think and have opinions and that has been you know a huge rewarding aspect of this this whole thing and yeah it's like there's a lot of pain and confusion and an unheard uh, sadness that I think if I'm able with this record to shine even a little bit of light on some of that pain like uh, you know that's that's good enough I think too like it sounds mod more modern than any record maybe I've made uh, in a sense that I think there's a lot of melody that feels fresh and a lot of, uh, I think the sounds feel fresh. So yeah, I'm proud of the work. I'm glad people are gonna get to hear it. <laughs>